Hi everybody, it is pouring down rain in Canberra. We haven't had it as bad as some parts of Australia, but it's certainly not much fun here. But it's good timing for us in a way. We've got some great news. John and I have booked in to go to the Monday Monday Bash near Silverton in April. And it's given us some time to get ready and think about what we actually needed to do. As you know, the caravan got the suspension upgraded two weeks ago now, I think. And anyway, this week, we've actually had the car in getting some work done. Uh, you might wonder why we've decided to do this. Well, we got the manual for the Man Monday Monday Bash and um, some of the instructions were interesting. I'll um, show you them. The Monday Monday Bash, as I understand it, because John and I are virgins and well, we haven't been to one before, is a big family friendly, dog friendly, inclusive music festival that will be held on the iconic Monday Monday Plains on the edge of the New South Wales outback. And they expect about 10,000 bashes, they call them. The music starts at about one o'clock in the afternoon and finishes at about 8.30 at night. And then everybody goes back to their vans and they ask that you turn off any music or anything at 10.30 so that people that want to sleep can sleep. The trick is you've got to take everything with you and you can't dump anything. You get one bag of rubbish and you have to put a car sticker on it and that you can dump that. There's no dumping of your toilet waste. So we have actually gone out and bought our second toilet. We were going to get a canister for the caravan, but we decided another toilet and we carried in the back of the car would be a good backup for now. And when we did like excursions on, you know, beach driving and things like that, we'll always have a toilet with us. What are the other things? There's no running water on site. You have to capture all your grey water as well. You must bring cash. They don't really have credit card facilities. And be ready to party and have some good old fashioned fun. And that's what really appealed to us. So not swerving to hit an animal started us talking about a bull bar. And yes, we decided we needed one, which then led us talking to at the same time, we should upgrade the suspension on the car because we've upgraded the suspension on the caravan. Then that led to the talk about getting airbags in the back of the car so that we could adjust depending on what type of weight we were carrying in the boot of the car. Finally, we decided that we needed a UFH radio after what had happened in January around Grenfell. And surprise, surprise, somewhere in the mix, we also ended up with a winch for those just in case emergency, this will be our safety thing. So just like that ad, wait, there's more. Yes, we bought more. I bought myself an Akubra hat and I think it looks okay and it'll be wild brimmed, which will be better when we're traveling in really sunny conditions. We also have a new Weber barbecue to add. Um, it's not new, it's second hand. A wheelie bin for to sit on the spare tire at the back of the van and we'll be able to put lots of rubbish and things and carry a bit extra and it looks good I mean it's a rubbish bag an expensive rubbish bag really but it's going to travel on the back of the van so what do you do we've just bought a jerry can we're going to carry extra diesel because we've got the diesel heater and we want backup in case anything isn't okay when we're traveling and a new chair new camper chair this one will go recline and sit up straight so when we want to eat and i think that will make my life a little bit more comfortable and it's a new brand for me 
never tried it before but in the shop it feels really comfortable and it does have a little pillow that goes across the top so before i go all these products are great for us and we've picked what suits our budget and our needs and we've done a lot of research for us i'm definitely not telling anybody what they should and shouldn't buy there's so many products out there you definitely need to do your own research and find out what you want the good news is for us though it's all done and dusted and we're pretty happy with what we've got we're currently charging up the van and tomorrow we're off again so for the rest of the day i'll be trying to fit that weber somewhere in the caravan and i'll let you know if we come up with a good solution and we're off probably inland because i think that will be our best bet weather wise for a few weeks and i'll see you next week have a great week stay safe if you're in the wet and i'll see you on the other side